What is happening YouTube, it's your boy Tektrix back with another video and today we're gonna edit some photos using Lightroom. Here we go! One, two, three, oh! Things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your iPhone and Android. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. So here we go. First of all, obviously, is we need to import all our photos and whatnot, all, all the things that we're going to edit to Lightroom. I don't know if you already know that there's a Lightroom app for uh, iPhone and pretty much iOS device, even an iPad OS. As of right now, it's not updated to the iPad technically. It's not on iPad OS. This is just technically the bigger version of the iOS version. But it still works very well. Few limitations before we do this is this Lightroom only works with DNG files. Uh, if you do, if you want to edit raw files, it would be DNG files, not PEF. So there's a limitations on this, but it's it's great to have Lightroom on your iPad. Maybe you want to edit some photos while you're on the go. Maybe you're in school or something like that, and you don't have a MacBook. You only have a desktop, so you'll be able to do this. So let's get to it. Let's go ahead and take out our SD card from our camera. If you haven't seen my videos on my Pentax KX, this one's the K5, K5 but um, I made a review on my KX, Pentax KX. Go, You guys go ahead and check that out. I'll link that down below. Anyways, um, let's take our SD card, let's put it on our USB-C hub. I made a video on this as well, unboxing it, trying it out, so it all works very well. Let's go ahead and import some stuff here. Let's go to Photos. On iPadOS as well, you'll be able to import stuff from the Photos app like this. And you can also do it through uh, the Files app. So this is the layout for the Photos app takes a bit of time to load, but if you want to do it through the Files app, you'll be able to see it right here. No name, and then it has its folders, just like in the computer. So I'm going to try out some stuff. We went around Calgary and got, got a few shots, so I'm going to try to edit some of my photos. Another way to import some photos would be pressing the dot dot up there on the top right corner, add photos and from files. And there you go. With this, you'll be able to select whichever you want to import. Real easy. Add. There's also recents. So these will just show the ones that you already imported. So right here, I made a folder for Lightroom. Make it easy for me. Now I can select the photos that I want to select. There we go. There you go. Select through the files. Let's try importing some of my photos here. So how you want to do that is basically you just drag and drop. Pretty easy stuff actually. So select those. And then you can go ahead and take them, put it on our Lightroom folder just like that, real easy. So now we'll be able to grab our photos straight to our iPad. Let's go back to our Lightroom, as you guys can see there. Now we reflected that we have photos right here. You can go ahead and open those up and open one up and it'll show right there. Now we got a few of our photos. Let's try out, let's try editing them. Let's go like this. So you all can see there. I'll show you some of the options that they have here for the Lightroom. 
For the most part, you can just press auto, just like that, and it helps quite a bit. Um, let's go back though, before we do that, let's play around with other settings. For here, you can have different profiles, like a monochrome or color, and you can also add presets if you want. There's also a basic style right there, artistic, which is different presets that they have here for artistic, I guess. Let's go back. Uh, black and white. I'm going to use your photos for black and white. There you go. Again, different presets. Pretty cool. Let's go modern. I kind of like the black and white, so I might want use one of those. There's also vintage. There you go. Let's go to light now. You can use your pencil as well for this. There you go, you can change your exposure. That'll help a lot. Contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and the blacks. Beautiful. Get some color, temperature. There you go. A shot, there's also auto. Um, shot, and custom. It's all up to you. There you go, maybe you like that tint of sky blue. You can put that right there. You can change the vibrance as well. Saturation. There you go. Get some effects, get some texture, put more detail in into your picture. Maybe a clarity as well. There you go. Dehaze. Midpoint, roundness, as you can see there, a bit different, feather highlights, grain, I'm going to put grain on your photos, size, comment below if you like that, I actually don't like putting grain on my photos, but if you like that, uh, comment below uh, what you actually use it for and whatnot. Let's go to details now, the sharpening. The radius of it as well. Details, masking, noise reduction. I just put green over there and reduction right here. Whatever. Detail and the contrast. Color noise reduction. And again, the detail and the smoothness for it. The optics as well. It would remove the CA right here. If you like that. And also enable lens corrections. They also have that as well. That's pretty cool. As of right now, I, I haven't actually used premium and for the most part, as long as I take my photos on a DNG format, then I don't need to get the premium version of Lightroom. So, so uh, as far as I know, uh, it done me really well just for the free version. So that's pretty good. So let's try out different stuff right here. There's also like rotate image. You can also change the angle right here if you look at that let's go hit cancel for now so we looked at this panel right here let's look at this now this is just the presets that they have as well so maybe you want that high contrast detail right there it's very nice vivid and matte uh, makes it uh, more vintage looking. So let's look at the creative presets they have as well. well. Let's go back. Let's just bring it back to the original right there. Turquoise and red. There you go. Beautiful sky up, uh, right up there. It's very nice. Soft mist. Maybe you like that kind of photos. I'm kind of more of a turquoise. Look at that. It's beautiful. Vintage instant. Warm contrast. Flat and green. Red lift. It's beautiful. Red. 
Convert the original. Let's go black and white. It's black and white presets as well that they have here. Very nice. There you go. I don't know if you guys know about presets. So basically, presets are just the most useful way to make your editing at ease. So it'll give you your automatic and maybe you like a certain preset and you'll be able to just go in and boom, you're done, right? Like one click. That's a preset you have. And everything everything will look, uh, let's say if you're uh, building a profile, all your photos would look um, similar to each other. Grain, and there's sharpening and there's vignette. There you go. This video is not sponsored as well, so I'm just uh, admiring the fact that you can um, edit your photos right on here, right on the iPad. I like it a lot. So here you can change your aspect to 6 by 16 by 9 or something like that. Or maybe you like it on Instagram, or you put on square, right? Uh, right there, square. It's for Instagram. Things like that. Or maybe you want something that is... Um, Eleven. There's so many different stuff here. You just go ahead and also flip photo upside down, right? Maybe you want something that is uh, reflective or something like that. Let's go ahead and cancel for now. And these three, these two right here is a premium feature. So basically, if you see a star right there on the side, once the star shows, those are the premium features. Right here, it says here as well that you can adjust all the photos right here. Boom, all done, right? It's real easy. Here you will be able to review your photos if you like it, <laughs> I guess, you know. You could put tags as well right here, make it easy for you. But at the same time, they also do that for you if you have the premium version. So make it easy for you. You can also change, put the titles and whatnot. And there you go. That is the easiest way to, to get all your photos uh, into Lightroom, edit them all at the same time, have presets and make it easy for you. On the go, you don't have to be on your laptop or computer or anything like that. You can do it all on your iPad now. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of a little overview of Lightroom CC. Hope you guys have a good day. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell as well. And see you guys next time. Peace.